If your morning is anything like mine, there is little more important than that first cup of coffee. The morning routine always includes putting on a pot or brewing a cup. Filling to do so would be like walking out of the house without getting dressed. So, with coffee being such an ingrained part of the morning ritual, it's important we get the right types of coffee maker to make our mornings that little bit easier. In sadder times, coffee was nothing more than fuel. The taste was an afterthought. Now, however, the taste is everything. Since we all have different tastes, there are many ways to make coffee to suit, and that means that there seems to be no end to how many types of coffee maker there are out there. The trick is knowing which is best for you. Espresso Coffee Maker Manual Espresso Machines When it comes to espresso machines, having a manual espresso machine is the preference of coffee purists. Why? It allows you to have control over every step of the brewing process, also known as piston machines. Manual espresso machines rely on pumping a handle to build up pressure before forcing the water through finely ground coffee which is packed very tight. The resulting coffee takes a couple of minutes to then pour through. This will result in a short, strong espresso. Semi-automatic or partially automated espresso machines take over the pressure building for you. These are the kind of espresso machines you will have seen in most trendy coffee shops. The machines essentially build pressure for you. All you need to do is put in the grinds and control the start and stop point of the espresso shot with a button. With this style of coffee maker, you retain a lot of control in terms of beans and grind. However, the pressure is out of your hands. The automatic espresso machine is the small step up from its semi-automatic counterparts. Generally speaking, automatic machines will require you to grind and tamp the coffee yourself, then press the button. Seems pretty similar so far, right? However, where the automatic machine differs from the semi-automatic espresso machine is that you don't have to repress the button to stop the flow of water. A clever timer inside the machine will automatically cut off the shot after a certain time period. Just want to push a button and get coffee? Then a super automatic espresso machine is the one for you. The beans will be ground and packed inside the machine and the shot poured into your waiting cup. These are the style of coffee machines favored by Starbucks. The staff just need to push the button for whatever size they need and the machine does the rest. They are fantastic for consistency and ease of use. Plus, you can still put your favorite coffee beans into the machine so there is some flexibility there. Automatic Drip Brewer The most popular coffee machine sold worldwide is the Automatic Drip Brewer, so they certainly offer an easy, familiar way to make coffee. These types of coffee maker work by dripping hot water from a reservoir through the coffee grounds. This produces coffee into the waiting pot underneath. The machine heats the water and pumps it above the grounds, whilst the pot sits on a hot plate to keep the coffee warm. Also known as a fin. The Vietnamese drip filter is essentially just a single cup drip filter. The small metal filter is placed on top of your cup, filled with ground coffee beans, and water is then poured through. To make a truly Vietnamese coffee, there should be condensed milk in the cup for the coffee to drip into. If you are looking for more control over water temperature and volume, then the manual drip brewer is the one for you. It works on the same principle as the automatic drip brewer. The difference is that you are the water reservoir and pump. So. You have to manually pour the water over the filter in ground coffee beans. Percolators are essentially just jumbo versions of the mocha pot. The water sits at the bottom, boiling, and the steam rises through the coffee grounds. You can get really big percolators that make 100 cups of coffee, but unless you're actually the walking dead or throwing a party then you aren't going to need one that big. Iced coffee on a hot day is one of life's great joys. If you want to make it at home, you'll want a special machine to do. Otherwise, you are just diluting your coffee with melted ice cubes whilst trying to cool it down. Cold drip coffee machines tend to consist of three glass vessels arranged in a tower formation. The cold water drips from the vessel at the top into the ground coffee. Turkish coffee maker, Ibrak. Making Turkish coffee sounds complicated which often puts people off. But once you've done it a couple of times you'll find it's very easy and produces strong coffee. The Ibrox themselves are not particularly expensive and are rather pretty, adding a touch of mystery to your kitchen. This turns coffee making into a kind of ancient ritual rather than a push button for caffeine experience that we have with most modern machines. Here at K-Dual Coffee Maker, this is the perfect middle ground for those who want it all. The K-Dual combines a K-Cup capsule machine with a drip brewer. This combination makes it perfect for those who want the ease of the K-Cup capsules, but the option to brew a batch of coffee for friends or family, or maybe you live with someone who has different tastes to you. Either way, the K-Cup would be an ideal addition to your home. 
We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.